Hey, 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 guys. So, today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys how my university frustrated me when I wanted to get my transcript. Like, seriously, you all know how Nigeria is. You all know how frustrating Nigerian university can be. Like, Oh my god like 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 so in this video i need i'm going to tell you guys what to do and what not to do so to avoid this frustration like seriously i'm going to be telling you what to do the best thing you should do hmm? if you're looking to study abroad and you want to start if not yet collected your transcript the best thing you should you should do like seriously or else <laughs> all right if you're interested in knowing what i'm talking about in this video please keep watching welcome back thank you so much for stopping by if you have been here before thank you and if you're seeing my face before, and for the first time thank you so much i appreciate you please if this um content is really like if you benefited from this from what i am saying if you think I'm making sense, please do well to subscribe to my channel. It will help my channel to grow. And um, if you'd like to see your comments, and also I'd like to, I'd like you to give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much. So let's go right into the video. Like I said, it's really, really, it's really frustrating, as in how Nigerian universities can be. Like, I don't know. It's it's too much. It's too much. I don't know if if any of you have had any experience with Nigerian universities. How they can frustrate you when you want to collect your transcript or collect any other thing like maybe your certificate or result whatever like they can really 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 be frustrated like seriously so now um i'd like to advise you guys any anybody like if you want to start your know, like if you already had the turn like maybe you think you think or someone has told you maybe your your parents they've suggested that to you like ab about traveling um, abroad for your masters please and please and please i'm begging you guys start don't think it's too early when it comes to transcripts in nigeria it's not too early i'm telling you guys seriously don't allow the um universities or your your university to frustrate your efforts okay so just start very very early to do whatever thing you want to do all right so um okay like in my school you have to apply online for your transcript and then you have to pay a certain amount of money for this transcript as well so which i did i applied and all that ah look at me thinking i don't know what even made me to even forget that <laughs> i am still in nigeria like seriously and i and i, and I was just sitting and waiting um, when it was really like few months to my time of application I just thank God that, that I had to do something because just imagine that I kept on waiting. Oh my God. They would have frustrated my life. Like, well, so I didn't, I wasn't hearing anything from them. They just keep telling me, I don't know, do you start? I, I mean, like, I don't know. So what I did was I had to travel to school. I schooled in Edo State, so I had to go to my school. Lo and behold, they've not done anything, like nothing, nothing. And there were some other people's um, requests for transcripts, you know, they were just there, piled up on the on the table. Oh no, I gave them fire because if I had kept quiet, if I had kept quiet, hmm, maybe they would have frustrated me. So I had to because I mean I can't travel away from Abuja to Edo State without achieving anything. So I had to talk. I had to like kept on. Uh, I did a lot. So finally, um. They, they sent my transcripts to the registrar's office and for processing, they sent this um, the transcript for processing. So that was, that was when I now came back to my base in Abuja while I, I waited for them. And there's no day, like, I was always calling them. You don't give them a chance, though. just keep calling. I was following them up. I was always calling, 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 calling. <laughs> Before finally, they sent my transcripts. <laughs> so now, the next thing now that I want to talk about is if you intend to um, 
applied to more than one school maybe two three four five ten fifteen i've seen someone that applied for i think for 15 or so and he got admission for like seven schools yeah so if you intend to apply to so many schools now you know transcript is not free you have to pay for it you have to pay for it <laughs> and if don't agree i don't i don't know what they usually say is that if if you want your uh, transcript that you should um you you put the name of the organization or school that you're sending it to please don't even don't send it to your school directly don't don't try that number one is very expensive if if the school or, or the organization is within nigeria it's cheaper but it's cheaper than when it's outside i'm not saying that it's cheap like generally cheap no it's cheaper to compare um outside the country like sending sending it outside the country so if you uh, if don't send it to your school outside the country what i did was that eh? okay if you're applying if you're doing your application by yourself what you should do is you have to look for somebody look for an organization that um you can use their address look for an organization maybe a school or because any organization could could request for your transcript maybe for i don't know whatever so you look for any an organization office or something not your personal one, not, not your personal address because they won't send it to you they won't agree so look for an organization talk to them about it and use their address yep use your address to fill on your form i mean that's the address that they, that they will send the transcript to because to them they're not meant to see the transcript it's confidential highly confidential so use that organization then when this transcript gets to them then you can have a transcript and with the transcript you can apply to as many schools you want to i mean it's cheaper because how do they mean like for example now i mean it's, it's normal to apply to more than one school you don't have to only just apply to one school so now how do they expect someone who's maybe you're you're trying to apply to like five schools or probably the first school you applied to, they didn't give you admission, they didn't grant you admission, and then you have to apply to another school, then you come back and pay, you keep paying and paying and paying, really? Like, really? I remember my on our on our on my school's website, they actually told me that if um um if I'm going to apply to like five schools, I'm going to pay I think it was like is it fifty thousand naira? That means I'm going to pay fifty thousand times five really I just looked at them i said eh, because i did pick money for this country for this nigeria where we did so guys that is that is what i did look for an, an organization that you can use their address talk to them they should know about it so when they come when the um this thing the transcript comes they can help you to collect it and then you go and pick it up from them and use it for your application apply it to as many schools you want to okay i hope this helps someone i hope this helps you please if this helps if this if what i've said in this video has helped you or is going to help you or whatever i don't know please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and then subscribe you can ask me your questions and i will do it to answer you please don't forget to comment as well thank you and share my video to people you think that they might need it. Thank you so much. God bless you.